so that this is our piezoelectric sensor and this is the piezo resistive material now see i tap here 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 nothing happens i am punching the surface but as soon as i punch this sensor see it is detected the led turns on for 2 seconds because we have programmed it see again i punch here 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 nothing happens but as soon as i touch this it turns on but one one hit means only one 2 second on now i constantly do it now the led will try to remain on see it is working like a charm so we can detect vibrations using it now let me show you the code in a quick code so this over here is the code see we just initialize our sensor pin digital input output pin then we initialize the led then we check if if the sensor is sending one that vibrations is detected if it detected the led turns on for 2 second as the led is off simple as that hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i will show you how you can detect vibrations or knocks using a piezo electric sensor using pic 16 f 77a microcontroller so piezo electric is a type of material when it is pressed it gives a signal so unlike a normal button or a normal vibration sensor piezo electric have tons of strength like it can endure a lot of force so it can be used at various places it have tons of application in the market like to detect if the hydraulic is pressed or not because piezo electric can withstand a lot of pressure so let's get started with it let me show you what type of sensor i'm talking about so this is a piezo electric sensor module with the sensor this over here this two disc this is a piezo electric sensor while this is a module it will help you to interface this with a pic microcontroller even if you don't have the module no issue you can just directly connect it with a resistor see there is only a resistor here you only need these resistors to connect it with a pic so it is better if you have the module it will be more like uh, beautiful to look it will have it will look better and beautiful because this module is not very expensive it's a cheap module so guys uh, let's do the connection so this over here the disk is the piezoelectric material so before i continue let me introduce you this introduce you this module So as you can see, it has three pins. The bottom one is the ground, the center one is the positive, and the top one is the signal pin. Signal is either high or low. It is not uh, analog signal, so it will be either high or low. And you can connect this directly in one of my future videos. I will show you how you can connect it directly with the pick as well. In that case, you can have the ADC resolution as output. Now, guys, these two pins on the terminal block. That is where you will connect your sensor on the module. These three pins are for your microcontroller and powering on the sensor. While these two pins, that is where you will connect your piezoelectric uh, sensor. So, the bottom one is the inner disk. So, take a look here. It's the red wire at this point. So, if you don't have wire, you will solder a wire at the inner disk and you will connect it to this input. That is our uh, bottom one input terminal. Now the upper terminal is the outer disk here you can see that it's a black wire soldered here but if you don't have a wire on the sensor then you will solder a wire yourself a black wire and you will connect it on the ground like this in this way your connections will be completed like piezo electric sensor is connected with the module now guys this is our pic 16f double 7a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version this over here is a piezo electric sensor module and again i label it for you the bottom most pin is the ground if you hold it like this the center one is a positive then you have signal pin at the top now guys uh, suppose our piezo electric material is connected as shown in the previous slide let's do the connection with the pic 16f double 7a connect the signal pin to any available digital input output pin of the pic i am going to use a pin number 20 that is pin number d1 like this now for the center pin which is a positive you can use the vcc pin of the pic like this and for the ground just use the ground pin of the pick like this now guys to display the output i will use an led a 5 mm led as you can see on the left this led has two pins one shorter one longer shorter is always ground and longer is always the power pin now guys to interface this led with a pick it is better you use a resistor resistor can be of any value from 100 to any value you prefer higher the value of the resistor the dimmer the led will go so i am going to use a 220 ohm resistor 220 ohm resistor is an ideal resistor it is basically a safety resistor it will also save the led from getting burned from excess current so now we have our led we have our resistor we have our pins label let's do the connection i will connect the longer pin of the led with a one pin of the 220 ohm resistor like this from the other end i connect it to any available digital input output pin 
So for this, I am going to use a pin number D0, that is pin number 19. So pin number 19 for the LED and pin number 20 for the sensor. Now for the ground pin, just connect it to the common ground. Now guys, I am going to program the pick in such a way that whenever a vibration or knock is detected on the piezoelectric material, the LED will turn on for 2 seconds. And that's how it's going to work. Whenever the vibration is detected, the LED will turn on for 2 seconds, else it will remain off. So let's uh, go to the micro C4 pick. Before that, let me introduce you to the hardware as well. So guys, as you can see, this over here is our hardware. This is a piezoelectric sensor module. You can see that it is the same as shown in the presentation. And you can see the pinout, only three pins. As positive and negative, I have connected them to the pick. This over here is a sensor, piezoelectric sensor. This is the LED I'm gonna use as shown in the presentation and here you have our pic 16 f 77 a microcontroller in the background. So guys, this is our simple hardware setup. Rest is just a trainer board. Now let me get to, to the micro C for pic coding so we can get started. So guys, this is our micro C for pic. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. As you can see, this is Vision 7.6.0 and I will also share the link to the video in which I have shown you how you can download and install Micro C4 Pick latest version from the official website or legal version without any crack. So I will share the link to that video in the description as well. So go to File, New, New Project. This window pops up, New Project Visit. Click on Next, write the name of the project. So what we are going to do is that vibration detection using piezo resistor material. That's the name I wrote, Tutorial by Learning Microcontrollers. That's the name I wrote here. pic 16 f 7 a is the one I'm going to use and the crystal is 20 megahertz. Click on Next and Finish. So guys, this window pops up. Press Ctrl S to save your work before you do anything else like this. Now guys, before we continue, let's go to the presentation and see how many pins we need to initialize. So as you can see, we only have two pins need to be initialized. D0 is the one holding the LED and D1 is the sensor. So let's initialize them. So first of all, what I do is that I initialize a sensor pin that is port D1, port D pin 1, press D dot F1 equals to 1 like this. An initial state of the pin will be decided by the sensor. So I just give some initialization delay. This initialization delay is not necessary, but I always give it in the one-time loop. Now, this is the register which defines the direction, and D is the port, and F1 is the pin number. And 1 means the pin has been declared as input. Now, a sensor or a button can be connected here. Now, for the output pin, that is the LED pin. Let's do this again. Copy this. Paste it here. Now, that will be this D dot F. Let's see again, which is the LED pin. That is D dot F0 pin D0. Now pin D0 means D dot F0 and it's 0. Why? Because as I had told you above, this is a direction register. So the pin for uh, for the for 1, it means the pin has been declared as input and 0 means it's, it has been declared as output. And LED is always the output pin. Now for the initial state, initially we want the LED to be off. So we make it go off. Port D dot F0 equals to 0. In this way, our LED will be off by default. Now we go to our forever loop, we got our LED initialized, we got our button initialized. Now in the forever loop, I write while 1, forever loop starts here, and here. Now what I do is that, in between this, here, I will check if the, the vibration is detected. Now to check whether either the vibration is detected or not, what I have to do is that, I have to check this pin, that if uh, 1 has been uh, received at the pin or not because whenever the piezo resistive material is pressed a one will be sent to the pick microcontroller so i check if port d dot f1 double equal to one if the button is pressed then what will happen we will have our led turned on this led will turn on for how long for two seconds as told in the presentation you can change the code you will play with the code i will give you this code in the description of the video so you will have the code so for 2 seconds means 2000 milliseconds like this. Now for 2 seconds the LED will remain on if 1 is given by the sensor which means that if the vibration is detected the piezoresistive su substance will send a 1 and that 1 will represent that 
a vibration has been detected now guys the next thing is else else if uh, there is no vibration then we will go back to our initial state that is zero the led will remain off led will only turn on if the vibration is detected else it will remain off so this is a very simple way to use this sensor module so let's build this code and see what happens so the code is built no errors detected now what i do is that i burn it i go to the picket 3 programmer tool this is the picket 3 programmer tool let me turn it on so let's select the microcontroller pic 16 fa 77a is the one we are using here f a here we go go to the file import the hex file we just created so this is the file we just created this horrifying name i click on write okay the new file is being written let's go to the hardware okay this is our hardware over here let me see okay, this is the wrong one this one okay the file is burned i guess okay it's burned let me power up the pic using this picket 3 programmer tool okay it's powered up okay the circuit is powered up now okay the wire was a bit loose i tightened the wire now see nothing is detected i tap here nothing happens tap here nothing happens tap here nothing happens now i tap on the sensor see the led turns on for 2 seconds now again i tap here 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 nothing is happening but as soon as i tap on the sensor see the led turns on for 2 seconds i tap again led turns on else it remains off so it is working like a charm i tap here 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 wherever i can tap now i tap here see it turns on now the good thing is now i tap it very hard still it is working if you tap a button like this it will get broken now i remove the finger see one tap means one signal see because it's detecting vibration now i tap constantly see i'm tapping now the led remains on because constantly the tap is being detected it was not not too fast enough it is if it is very fast tapping then the led will not turn off it will remain off remain on so that's it that is how this piezo resistive material works see it is very easily detecting the vibration i tap here 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 nothing ever i punch here nothing ever punch here nothing ever but as soon as i punch this sensor see the vibration is detected now this is the ability of these piezo resistive material that they can endure a very uh, hard force if it is applied on some uh, relevant surface area like this surface area then it will endure the hard force as well while a normal button or a normal sensor cannot do this a vibration sensor cannot do this see it is working like a charm simple as that so guys this is it this was uh, the tutorial on using this piezo resistive sensor so if you guys have any questions you can ask me in the comments so we'll see you in the next video goodbye until then